Welcome to our detailed exploration of change management in IT security, with a focus on understanding the technical implications and the importance of documentation. Allow lists and deny lists are crucial for controlling access to resources. Allow lists permit only specified entities, while deny lists block designated entities. For instance, an updated firewall rule might add new IP addresses to an allow list, enhancing network security. Change management often involves restricting certain activities to maintain security. For example, disabling USB ports on company computers to prevent unauthorized data transfer is a form of activity restriction. Downtime, the period when a system is not operational, can be a result of planned updates or unexpected issues. Effective change management minimizes downtime to ensure continuous security monitoring. An example is scheduling system updates during off-peak hours. Restarting services and applications is often necessary after updates or changes. This can impact security by temporarily disabling protective measures. For instance, restarting a security service might create a brief window where the system is less protected. Legacy applications, often outdated and unsupported, pose significant security risks. Change management must address how to secure or replace these applications. Dependencies in IT refer to how different systems or applications rely on each other. A change in one can significantly impact others, potentially creating security vulnerabilities. For instance, updating a database system may require corresponding changes in dependent applications. Diagrams like network maps or system architectures need regular updates to reflect changes. Accurate diagrams help in identifying potential security risks and planning for contingencies. For instance, adding a new server to the network diagram helps in assessing its security posture. Policies and procedures must evolve with changes in the IT environment. This ensures that security practices remain relevant and effective. For example, updating the data backup procedure after introducing new storage technology. Version control is essential in managing changes to software or documents. It allows tracking of revisions and restoration to previous versions if needed, which is crucial for maintaining security. For example, reverting to a stable version of a security application after a problematic update. In conclusion, effective change management is critical in maintaining and enhancing security in IT environments. It involves careful consideration of technical implications, diligent documentation, and precise version control.